What's going on? Welcome back to Real World Tool Reviews. It's been another busy weekend. I hadn't had a chance to shoot any videos until now. Um, I've been in the crawl space at the new house replacing the hot water heater. It was leaking, it was rusted out, you know. And uh, so I had to replace the low boy hot water heater in the crawl space. And uh, it all went well, went great. Um, got it done. I'm, I'm tired. And I had to buy uh, one new tool to do it. That's this right here, a uh, PEX crimper set. So I figured right now it would be a good time to review some tools. I, uh, I've used all four of these things I'm about to talk about with great success. And I just love having good stuff to get the job done. And when you have everything you need and it all works really well, it makes life so much easier. And I just, all of these things, I actually uh, just loved using on this job. So I figured it'd be a good time to do a review on these things. Um, I'm gonna talk about these Milwaukee lights first, the tandem of Milwaukee lights. This is the 18 volt radius light, which I've done a video on before. This used to be the light for my shop. This was the, the light for the whole room. It lights up a whole room. Like before I had power in here, I made videos with this light and uh, it, it, it worked well. It, it is bright. It's really bright. Um, I can't remember the exact lumens, but it's over a thousand. And it, the way that it, it just disperses a lot of light in the area, you know, hence the name radius light. Um, but it, it, it's awesome for being under a house, you know, a crawl space. Uh, this is an old crawl space. There's no lights down there or anything. And uh, this thing lit up the whole crawl space. It was amazing. And uh, one five amp hour battery on this lasted about five hours, I think, on high. Um, I got the six amp hour on here right now, but it uh it really does the trick. And you can plug it in too if you want. It's just a really you know versatile, good good light for going under houses and stuff. Um, it does have like a floodlight too, where you can switch it to where it's just the floodlight. Um, it's got three brightnesses. Uh, I, I just keep it on the highest most of the time, but this is an awesome light for camping. It's an awesome light for taking in a crawl space, you know, it's just a really one of my favorite Milwaukee products right here. I just love this thing. Um, but I've got a video on this. I've talked about before. You guys have seen it before. Um, and a couple weeks ago I got this, uh, this is the, the 12 volt. Um, like, uh, it's, I forget what, they call it, a spotlight. That's what it is. It's a spotlight. This thing is like 750 lumens. This is awesome for taking under a house and really needing to, to look at something and have a lot of light on it. I was using this like the whole time too, having this in there to just kind of light up the area. And then this thing to really look at everything was just an awesome combination. I've been using the shit out of this light since I got it. I take it, uh, I've, I've been taking it on walks. Uh, there's a big building that uh, the company I work for owns and we're trying to figure out a bunch of leaks. And uh, we had a bunch of the sheetrock cut out and we were pulling insulation out and I was shining up in between the joists and stuff, uh, looking for all these leaks. And it was just super, like just super helpful to kind of, point out back in here and see if there's like, looks like water's been coming in or whatever. It's an awesome light. I am so happy I got this thing. It's so comfortable to use just like the pistol grip kind of thing. You know, you just take it and it's just really comfortable to point this light where you need. I just, I love this thing. I would highly, highly recommend this light to anybody who uses a flashlight a lot and, you know, inspects, does a lot of inspections uh, going under houses. Like if you're like a home inspector or something, you know, like those guys that inspect houses when people are buying them, you know, for the bank or whatever, every home inspector should own this, this light right here. I mean, it's just, it's awesome. I just love this thing. So these two were just a perfect combination for, uh, for being under that house. And then I bought this screwdriver recently and um, I, I just 
on a whim. The Klein multi screwdrivers were on sale on Amazon like a couple weeks ago, and I decided I, I bought a couple different ones, but this was the main one that I wanted. And uh, I have a bunch of Klein uh, different screwdrivers. You know, I love their screwdrivers. I love all their different uh, multi-tip screwdrivers. But this one really stood out to me because this one is made in the USA, which Klein stuff is... A lot of it's made in the USA, but most of their multi-bit screwdrivers are not. They're made in China or Taiwan or something. But this one is made in the USA, and you can tell. So I love, you guys know that I love flipper screwdrivers. You know, like where you uh, have a flat and a Phillips on either side. I love, I just love having that. I, you know, it's just, I love how not complicated it is and it's just great to have both and the problem with a lot of them like i'll show you like here's one they're uh they're better than like a regular multi-tip screwdriver they're not as jiggly not as many moving parts that's kind of why i like them but they still they're you know kind of jiggly uh so you know this one's a real simple one but it's it's just, it doesn't feel solid, you know. This one, the way this locking mechanism is, this feels exactly like a fixed blade screwdriver. There is absolutely no play in it at all. It is a super comfortable screwdriver to use. And what's really awesome about it is uh, you can extend it out really far and it's still really solid in there, locked in there. And you can make it really long if you need to which is just, it's just such a cool design and it works so well. But um, I really got a lot of use out of it under that house. Like when I was taking the old water heater out, I was, uh, you know, undoing the screws on the connector for the wire uh, that it was, that was going into the top of the water heater. You know, it's got a little half inch connector where the wire goes in and I was, I was undoing it and the top of the old hot water heater was gross. There was like a mouse. It was, there was like a mouse nest on top of it or something. And there was, there was shit. There was mouse shit all over the top of it. So I didn't really want to put my hand on top of it a lot. And or like my arm, I had gloves on, but I didn't want my arm to touch while I was up there doing that connector. So I just made this thing real long and kind of reached back in there and was able to take the uh, connector screws loose without having to drape myself all over that mouse shit on that, on that water heater. So, uh, it's just, it's just a really nice screwdriver. This is a really good one. If you see this one, I, I just think that if you like, uh, having this type of flat and Phillips screwdriver, you should buy this. It is made in the USA. Um, it feels like it's made, like it just feels so much more, uh, solid, like especially this bit, like it, it feels so much better than the Klein multi-tip screwdriver blades that are not made in the USA. This Phillips, it's like a really nice fitting, really a good fitting Phillips bit, like super good fitting. Like it's not magnetic or anything. It just, it really fits these Phillips screws. Great. I, I mean, I just couldn't believe how much higher of a quality this is than some of their other multi-bit screwdrivers. And I love their multi-bit screwdrivers, but you pull it uh, in this way to extend it out, pull it up the other way to push it in. You got your Phillips, got your flat, just a really great screwdriver. I love it. And then the last thing that, I really like, now this is a, you know, it's not a super high quality hex crimper, but I really like this one. We had one just like this at my old job in our maintenance shop. We had one just like this. And uh, this is a, you know, a pex crimper. This is the Iwis. Um, that's what it looks like. Iwis pex crimper set. Um, 
it's on Amazon for like 65 bucks. And uh, when I knew I was going to do this, I just went ahead and ordered this one because I, I don't have any personal hex crimpers. I always use the ones from work, but I don't, I don't work there anymore. So I had to get another one. What I love about this is how close quarters it is. Like you pull it out like that and uh, can get it on, you know, you don't, because, you, you know, those real long ones that are, I mean, they're easier to crimp, but you can't get them in a lot of places. These get in almost anywhere I've ever had to crimp a peck string. And uh, I've, like I said, these are new. I just use them on this water heater, but I had a set just like this at work that we all use for years. And, it, you know, it's half inch and three quarter. And what I, what I just love about this set is it just comes with like, you can have all your half inch rings and then three quarter rings right here. I used them all. But this thing, man, it just it just gets in so many tight places. And, you know, you do have to squeeze on those three quarter ones. You really have to 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 squeeze on it hard. But it uh, it really works good. It comes with this gauge where you can test like how good the crimp is, you know, if it if it's right in the middle or whatever, um, then, you know, the crimp's good. So that's that's nice to just to, just to be able to double check and then it'll tell you whether you need to go up or down on that dial um but it can't it right out of the box it was crimping perfect i mean perfect crimps every time and it comes with a little pair of pex cutters in there so it's really nice just to you know load it up with your rings and make sure you have rings in there and take this set with you under the house or whatever and uh you got everything you need to to do a quick little pex job. Um, this really is a good set for 60, like for the money for 65 bucks, it's really tough to beat because you can spend some money on some pex crimpers. And I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure it's not the nicest out there, but it's been a really good one for me. I've been using this set of, of uh, pex crimpers for years now. And uh, this one is, is like I said, new, but I've been using this same set uh, for years and it's never let me down. It works all the time. It's a, it's a really good tool and it's a budget friendly tool. So um, if you guys are looking for a good pair of PEX crimpers uh, that does half inch and three quarter, I would strongly recommend this IWIS set, uh, you know, Tough to beat for 65 bucks. So that's just four tools that I really, really like. Um, these are like, if you do a lot of, a lot of stuff under houses or whatever, I would strongly recommend all four of these things. Um, this thing's awesome. This, this spotlight is great. I don't know how I'd, live without it. I mean, just having it for a few weeks, I'm like, this has been like one of my most used things. And, uh, like I said, man, I just, this is really a good, a good screwdriver. Um, I would highly recommend this thing made in the USA. Just one of those things. It's just like, you can tell the, the quality of this thing, uh, when you compare it to their other, their other ones that are not made in the USA, this thing's freaking awesome. So, uh, anyway, it's been a long day and, uh, I'm glad to be done with it, but it's good to have good tools to get the job done. Thanks for watching.